Governor Steve Sisolak in town today with an update on Nevada's efforts to slow the spread of COVID-19. Well, thanks for joining us here live on TV, Fire TV, or wherever you're streaming us right now. I'm Todd Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keene. This comes as the test positivity rate steadily increases. It's now at 15.7%. The governor weighing in on events attracting large crowds, several of which are planned in the coming weeks, including Life is Beautiful. And 13 Action News anchor Rachel Moore right now is live from Allegiant Stadium where Raiders fans are gearing up for the first preseason game there. Rachel. And as part of that state mask mandate, fans will be required to wear face coverings inside Allegiant Stadium, but the challenge will be enforcing that mandate. I'm tired of just giving people mandates. Governor Steve Sisolak says he has no plans announcing capacity limits or closures. Instead, he continues his push to get more shots in the arms of Nevadans. This as major events across the valley are revving up lots of excitement. Just when that football kicks off, just when, you know, that black and silver, when, you know. Raider Nation gearing up for its first preseason game of the year on August 14th inside Allegiant Stadium. Thousands are expected to fill the stadium that has yet to host a Las Vegas Raiders game in front of fans. The first sporting event inside the Death Star at full capacity was the Gold Cup last weekend. USA beating Mexico in front of a packed house. Everyone that walked through the turnstile had their mask on and 10 minutes into the match, the masks all came off. Large indoor crowds with no masks are a concern among health officials and state leaders as the coronavirus Delta variant swarms through Clark County. Even outdoor events like Las Vegas' upcoming Life is Beautiful concert sparking skepticism. Once we have the vaccination, we should be good to go and keep others safe, but... You know, I guess that's not the case anymore. The Southern Nevada Health District reports the Delta variant accounts for more than 61% of COVID-19 case numbers. Doctors say Delta has a higher transmission rate, but so-called breakthrough cases experience lessened symptoms and have lower hospitalization rates, giving confidence to some vaccinated sports fans. Yeah, we feel it safe, you know what I mean? At the same time, there's always that 1%, right? But at the same time, you're taking that chance yourself. So honestly, why, why stop you from living your life? Now, Governor Sisolak says that he has reached out to Allegiant Stadium operators, asking them to come up with a plan to enforce this mask mandate. And he says that they were very receptive. They want to help. They want to help the county and the state get out of this pandemic. Reporting live, Rachel Moore, 13 Action News.